it's Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today I have a really fun birthday card and gift card holder I'm going to teach you that features the Penguin Place Bundle by Stampin' Up! So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the stamp set and the punch and I bet you can guess what's the very first image I created with this set. Are you ready to see her? Ta-da! <laughs> Here she is. I did my little punch art hula penguin of course and then I was stamping with my friend Jody Hashimoto of the Stamping Owl and she came up with a really fun way to create sunglasses for the penguin. And so I was able to make a cool friend for my penguin on the inside of my card here. So I'm gonna show you in today's video, not only how to lay out this entire card, but I'm gonna start by showing you how to build these two penguins using the brand new punch. So there's a couple different ways that you can make a penguin. You can start with the stamped image that comes in the Penguin Place stamp set and you can just go ahead and you can stamp the penguin like that. Then of course you're going to want to use some pumpkin pie ink and you can go ahead and add the little beak like that. And then there's even stamps where you can add the feet and you can add other embellishments, a scarf, antlers, all kinds of really fun things in the stamp set. Now when you're ready to punch this out, you're going to go ahead and use the punch. You're going to slide your stamped image in there and you can just punch out your penguin just like so. And then you have the feet on the bottom there, so then you can go ahead and line up a scrap piece of pumpkin pie cardstock, and you can punch out the feet just like that, as easy as that, okay? So this is one way that you can assemble the cute little penguins. So now I'm gonna show you another way you can use the punch. So I have some black glimmer paper, and I'm gonna slide this in here, and I'm just going to do just this image here. And of course, for this card, we're gonna need two of these. So let me punch out two of these. For the next step, I'm gonna take the punch again, and this time, I'm gonna just punch out this portion here out of white. And then just as a tip, when you're doing the feet, you can take two pieces of cardstock and stack them together, and then punch the feet out like this, and then you'll get two at a time. And of course, for this card, we're gonna need two sets, so let me go ahead and punch out a second one. All right, next we're gonna do some stamping. So because this section doesn't have eyes, we're gonna add eyes. So I'm gonna use my Memento ink, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take and stamp the eyes on both of these penguins. Then I'll take the pumpkin pie ink, and we're going to add the beak. All right, and then I'm gonna just quickly glue these together. So I added the bodies onto the glimmer paper using my multi-purpose liquid glue, but for the feet, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue dots for that. Okay, so the feet are on our little penguins, and now we're ready to do some fun punch art. So the first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is the sunglasses. Now, Jody came up with this fabulous idea, and the only thing I did to tweak it was I added the Laura's Tape Technique, or the LTT. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start with a scrap piece of basic black cardstock, and then I'm gonna take some Scotch brand tape. I'm just gonna cut a tiny little piece, and then I'm gonna cover the cardstock with the tape, okay? All right, so now that I have the, card, the tape on the cardstock, I'm gonna take the punch, and I'm gonna slide the punch in there. Now, this is gonna give a really big pair of glasses. So what I need to do is I need to crop this down a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna come in here, and I'm just going to cut off a little piece of that cardstock. And now let's measure it up again. So I'm gonna stick it in there and now that's much better. I have a little bit more room to make the glasses a little bit smaller. So that looks good right there, okay? So then you just make sure that it's even and then you can go ahead and punch it out. And then now you have a really cute, shiny, fun pair of sunglasses for your penguin. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue dots and glue this on. fun all right so for the cool penguin there's lots of different options here we could add a little black bow tie which would be super cute but because of the particular card I'm making I wanted to add a pink scarf so I'm going to use my blushing bride ink I'm going to stamp a little scarf I'll fussy cut it and then I'll add it to the penguin so I'm using liquid glue to add the scarf you could use glue dots as well and then we're just gonna place it on there like so and then our cool little penguin is all ready to be added to the card Okay, next we're gonna work on the hula girl. And so we're gonna start with her top. So I have a scrap piece of blushing bride cardstock. 
I'm gonna take my punch, I'm gonna slide this in just like I did with the sunglasses, and then I'm going to pull this all the way down, almost to where it's going to cut the two pieces in half. Now the main thing I wanna make sure is that these two sides are even, so I'm gonna just put it in there like so, and then punch it out, okay? And that's how you make her little bikini top. Now, if you'd like, in order, if we were to just put it on like this, it's pretty wide for that area, so we need to bend it, and it's gonna go on there just like that. So you can either just add your adhesive and you can put it on just like that, or you can also cut it in half and add it in sections. But that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add my adhesive to the back and stick this down. So next we're gonna do the hula skirt. So I'm gonna grab the same punch I'm gonna use a scrap piece of evening evergreen cardstock and I'm going to stick it in here like this so that it punches out the bottom half of this larger penguin. I'm gonna just punch that out. Okay, so now I have this piece here and then what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and I'm just going to cut from underneath the penguin's wing all the way to the top and then from the top underneath that wing like that, okay? And then I'm just gonna come over here to the side and you can, you can scoop it a little bit or you can just kind of cut it straight across. So however you want to do that. And then that's basically it. And then you can see how that's going to fit on there. So that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to straighten it out just a tiny little bit. Okay, I'm going to measure it to make sure that that looks the, the length that I want on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm just going to add about four or five snips all the way across to create the hula skirt. And then of course, if you want, you can just fluff it up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and add your glue dots or your liquid glue. I'll be using liquid glue and then we'll glue it on. Next, we're gonna add a flower to the penguins here. So I use the Pierce Bloom dies. What I love about this die is that it die cuts three of these flowers at once. So I'm gonna take the little flower, I'm going to add a mini glue dot and then we'll just add that to the top of the penguin. And then we'll go ahead and embellish this with a rhinestone. Okay, there's the two little friends, aren't they cute? Okay, so now we're gonna just make a balloon and then I'm gonna show you how to lay out the base of this card. All right, so for the balloon, we are going to take a scrap piece of the Blushing Bride. I'm going to be using Blushing Bride ink and then the balloon image that comes in the stamp set. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just stamp that on there. Okay, so it's a nice pink balloon. Blushing bride, I'm blushing bride. But we wanna add the Laura's tape technique to the balloon as well. So once you stamp it on there, all I'm gonna do is, you have, probably have a hint from what I did over here, <laughs> but all I'm gonna do is just cover it up with tape and then I'm gonna fussy cut it. Okay, so now we're ready to do some stamping. So I'm gonna start with a small piece of basic white cardstock. This is one and a half by two and a half inches. And I'm gonna stamp with the happy birthday image from the Penguin Place stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp that up in the top right corner. And then also in the stamp set is this image here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up. And then I'm gonna line this all the way up at the top and have this coming down the left side of the card. Okay, all right. And then this is going to get mounted onto a one and three quarter by two and three quarter piece of evening evergreen cardstock. All right, so this is the cardstock where our little hula penguin is gonna go. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna add a couple of dimensionals. I'm gonna place a dimensional right over there to strategically hold her little feet on. And then I'll put another dimensional here. And then she's going to hold on to the balloon. So we're gonna just set her on there just like so. And then we'll put this to the side so we're ready to add the balloon. I'm gonna go ahead and add one dimensional right there at the bottom of the balloon, okay? And then we're, we can set him to the side as well. All right, for the card base on this card, we have a five and a half by eight and a half of pool party cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and just score it here on my Simply Scoreboard at one and a half inches to form the gift card portion and then at four and a quarter inches just to fold the card in half. Okay, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold this up. I'm gonna use a bone folder, make it nice and flat, and I'm gonna fold it again. Use a bone folder and make it nice and flat, okay? 
Now for the gift card portion, um, we are going to add some adhesive in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my liquid glue and I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. And then I'm gonna close that up and just press it down and let it dry. All right, so now we've got that done. And what we wanna do is we wanna add some texture to this card. So I've taken a piece of, two pieces of pool party cardstock. So I have a one and a half by five and a quarter and a two and a half by five and a quarter. I'm gonna place both of these inside my pretty flowers embossing folder. I'm gonna just line them up side by side. I'm gonna run these through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And here they are all finished, aren't they beautiful? Okay, so we're gonna add this texture to the front. So I'm gonna flip this around. I'm going to use my liquid glue. And I'm gonna glue this down here. Okay, so now I'm gluing the second piece and I just realized that I cut these at one and a half by five and a half. So these are gonna go all the way to the edge of the card. I actually intended to cut them a quarter inch smaller, but guess what? There are no mistakes in stamping. And the only difference between this card and my original card is going to be that this background is framed and this one is going to go all the way across. Either way, we're adding texture and the card's gonna look great. All right, so now let's move on and we're going to add a piece of Evening Evergreen. This is three by four. And then I'm going to be using the Bloom Where You're Planted Designer Series paper. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here and I'm going to center this on the Evening Evergreen piece. And then I'm gonna take our little penguin piece. I'm gonna flip this around and I'm just going to glue this flat. I'm going to center that right on that bloom where you're planted. I just love this piece of the bloom where you're planted designer paper because it looks so tropical. So it's perfect for our little hula penguin. All right, and then to put this on the front of the card here, I'm gonna flip this around and add six dimensionals. Okay, so you'll notice I've already taken off the backing. I only have the dimensionals on half and that's because when I flip this around, and center it. I don't want to have any adhesive on the right side. I just want this to be stuck to the left side of the card, just like so, okay? And then we have our balloon here. We've already added dimensional to that. This is our shiny LTT balloon that we're gonna go ahead and add right there to the front of the card. So the front of the card is completed. We're gonna open up the card, and then what we're gonna do on the inside is we're gonna add our sentiment. So I wanna center this penguin when I put the penguin in there. So I'm going to grab my sentiment that says, to the coolest friend ever. And I'm going to just place this at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to take my adhesive. I'm going to just use some liquid glue. And I'm going to glue my penguin on the inside here. Okay, just press it down, give it a second to dry. And then we have a gift card here to Lululemon. I'm gonna slide that in there. It's nice and black and white. I like matchy matchy, but actually who I'm sending this card to does love Lululemon. So um, then we have the gift. We have our little sentiment. We're gonna close the card and there you go. So my card is complete and I hope that you enjoyed not only learning how to make a birthday card with a gift card pocket, but also learning some really fun creative ways to use the punch from the new Penguin Place bundle. I wanna say a special thanks to Jody Hashimoto for teaching me how to create the sunglasses. And I'm super excited to share with you in a future video, even some more out of the box things that Jody and I have done with this punch. But I'm gonna save that for next time. And I wanna say thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video today. I hope that you'll come back and stand with me again real soon. Until then, aloha.